तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं सेक्शन ए सेट वन टेंथ फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए फॉर बीस फंक्शन एफ इज डिफाइंड एस एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए साइन पाई बाई टू एक्स प्लस वन वेन एक्स इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेन एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स अपॉन एक्स क्यूब वेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो इज कंटिन्यूअस एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर दे हैव टोल्ड हर्स दैट एफ इज कंटिन्यूअस एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो so for f to be continuous at x is equal to जीरो limit of x tends to जीरो minus f of x must be equal to limit of x tends to जीरो plus f of x so now let's find the value of the following so limit of x tends to जीरो minus f of x is equal to limit of x tends to जीरो minus a sin pi by 2 into x plus 1 so keeping zero over here it will be uh, a sin pi by 2 into 1 so sin pi by 2 is 1 so it will be a now let's find the value of limit x tends to 0 plus f of x which is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus टेन एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स अपॉन टेन क्यूब विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एज वी नो फ्रॉम दिस दैट लिमिट ऑफ एक्स टेंस टू जीरो माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स इज लिमिट ऑफ एक्स टेंस टू जीरो प्लस एफ ऑफ एक्स सो वी कैन इक्वेट दिस देर फॉर वी गेट दैट ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज जीरो find the value of a and b such that fx is continuous function so they have told us that fx is a continuous function therefore we knows that f is continuous at x is equal to 2 so for x to be continuous at x is equal to 2 limit of x tends to 2 minus fx must be equal to limit of x tends to 2 plus एफ एक्स सो इक्वेटिंग बोथ द थिंग्स वी गेट लिमिट ऑफ सेंस टू टू माइनस फाइव इज इक्वल टू लिमिट ऑफ एक्स टेंस टू टू प्लस ए एक्स प्लस बी एज एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू वी गेट फाइव इज इक्वल टू टू ए प्लस बी लेट दिस बी इक्वेशन वन एफ इज कंटिन्यूअस देर फॉर एफ इज Also continuous at x is equal to ten. Therefore, the limit of x tends to ten minus f x is equal to limit x tends to ten plus f x must be equal. Therefore, we get that limit x tends to ten. Minus a x plus b equal to limit of x tends to ten plus twenty one. Therefore, ten a plus b is equal to twenty one. Let's name this equation two. Now solving the equations. we get 10a plus b is equal to 21 and 2a plus b which is equal to 5 subtracting this we get 8a is equal to 16 therefore a is equal to 2 putting value of a in equation 1 we get 5 is equal to 2 into 2 plus b therefore b is equal to 1 so we get values 
of a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1 find the relationship between a and b so the function f is defined by fx is equal to ax plus 1 when x is less than or equal to 3 and bx plus 3 if x is greater than 3 so here f is continuous at x is equal to 3 so for that to be continuous limit of x tends to 3 minus f of x must be equal to limit of x tends to 3 plus f of x therefore ax plus 1 is equal to bx plus 3 so 3a plus 1 must be equal to 3b plus 3 therefore 3a minus 3b is equal to 2 for a minus b is equal to 2 by 3 since we took 3 common in a 3a minus 3b so a is equal to 2 plus 3 2 by 3 plus b taking b on the other side therefore this is the relationship of a and b for what value of lambda fx lambda x squared minus 2x is x equal to to or less than 0 or and 4x plus 1 if x is greater than 0 is continuous at x is equal to 0 so for x to be continuous let's assume x is x is equal to 0 is continuous function therefore limit x tends to 0 minus f of x must be equal to limit x tends to 0 plus f of x for limit x tends to 0 minus pi x square minus 2x is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus 4x plus 1 therefore lambda to 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 lambda is equal to 1 0 is equal to 1 therefore we can say that for no value of lambda f is continuous at x is equal to 0. Set to question 3 f of x 3x plus 5 if x is greater than or equal to 2 and 5x square minus 9 if x is less than 2 show that fx is continuous at x is equal to 2 so as we know that for x f to be continuous at x is equal to 2 then the value of limit x tends to 2 minus f of x and the uh, value of limit x tends to 2 plus f of x must be equal so let's first find the limit of x tends to 2 minus f of x which will be limit since 2 2 minus 5 x square minus 9 therefore limit x tends to 2 minus f of x will be equal to 5 into 2 square minus 9 therefore limit x tends to 2 minus f of x is equal to 2 square 4 20 minus 9 which is equal to 11 now let's find the value of limit x tends to 2 plus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 2 plus 
3x plus 5 for limit x tends to 2 plus f of x which is equal to 3 into 2 plus 5 which is equal to 6 plus 5 which is equal to 11 for limit x tends to 2 plus f of x is equal to 11 now these both values are equal so let's find for f of 2 which is 3x plus 5 which is equal to 11 therefore limit x tends to 2 f of x is equal to f of 2 therefore we can say that f is continuous at x is equal to 2 fourth fx is equal to 5x plus modulus x upon x if x is not equal to 0 and 2 if x is equal to 0 so as we know for x uh, to be continuous at 2 limit f of x this must be equal to f of 0 which is equal to 2 so we can say that if f is continuous at x is equal to 2 for limit x tends to 0 5x plus x upon x equal to 2 limit x tends to 0 taking x common in this x will get cut and this will be equal to 2 therefore 5 plus minus 1 is equal to 2 so 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6 is not equal to 2 and 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 is not equal to 2 therefore for any value of any value uh, fx is not continuous at x is equal to 2 therefore thus any value f is not continuous at x is equal to 2 therefore thus proved that f is discontinuous at x is equal to 2 fifth fx is equal to 2x plus 3x upon 3x plus 2 sin x for x not equal to 0 so for f to be continuous at x is equal to 2 at x is equal to 0 we will have limit x tends to 0 f of x which is equal to f of 0 so and we need to find f of 0 therefore f of 0 is equal to limit x tends to 0 2x plus 3 sin x upon 3x plus 2 sin x that limit tends to 0 2x plus 3 sin x upon x dividing both by x we get this as limit x tends to 0 to 2 x x will get cut so it will be like 2 x upon x plus
plus 3 sin x upon x upon 3x upon x plus 2 sin x upon x so in 2x by x x will get cut and 3x by x x will get cut so we will get limit x tends to 0 2 plus 3 upon 3 plus 2 since sin x by x is equal to 1 therefore it is equal to 1 f of 0 is equal to 1